All right, here we go. So what we're doing today is we're gonna replace this shitty shower rod with a, uh, a bent one. And apparently this one, apparently this one installs two ways. So I'm renting currently. So uh, what we're gonna do is uh, not drill in the hole and see how that works first. But somebody did already drill uh, before, so it's not like they give a shit <clears throat> or give a damn. So I just wanted to show you how uh, easy this is, just in case anybody anybody's hesitant about doing some DIY shit. Uh, this is not that bad. Uh, done several of these. Never done it one-handed before. Let's see if the foot works. There's that. Get this stuff out. Oops. Yeah. All right, cool. Very cool. Look at that. And then there's a, there's nothing in the box here. It's falling out into our face. So I guess this is all of the stuff. And then look at that. It's got the some sort of gauge. That's that's very neat. All right, we'll put it over here on my workbench and uh, move the old stuff out of the way. And then I will go and get my little my little cutters, the diagonal cutters, otherwise known as dweeks. All right, so we just come in like so and. Papa Ganoush, this thing here. I need to hire a cameraman. Ooh. Okay. Look at that. That fell on the floor. Okay, let's see what we got here. I wonder if I can hold this with my neck. <laughs> I cannot. I cannot hold it with my neck. So. Just use a little teeth. Use a little teeth action here, huh? <laughs> Spitting all over my shit. And then, fucking tear into this thing. <laughs> Gotta have even teeth, folks. If you get the option to get braces when you're like 13 and shit, get them. Don't be like, oh, I don't want to get them. I'm scared. Because, uh, yeah, I fucked up. You got a bunch of uneven teeth. All right, let's see. Let's see how this goes. Right here. Just need two hands for a second. Got some instructions. Right? Bunch of little things. I don't need those. I don't need those because I'm just going to do the tension part. I'm just going to do the tension part. All right. I'll bring you back up, and then, let's see what we got, plastic sleeve, adjustable length curve shower rod, mounting pivot posts, pivot mount post, posted mountain pivots, disassemble shower rod and remove the white protective lining. Ooh, I wonder if that has a clicker or some shit. Retain plastic sleeve, yeah, of course, and those things go like that. Ah, uh, it does. It has a little clicker. Look at that. A little knob. It's got a little knob on the dryer. For tension installation method, proceed to T1. There's T1. Position shower rod with the eight holes in the center of the rod facing forward. Grip the rod with two hands on each side of the rod. T3. Oh, yeah. Pop the holes. Pop, pop, pop until it's flush. Slide the plastic sleeve. Add tension with the tensioners. Gear cog thing there, whatever it is. And then you push a plastic wheel to lock it in place. You give me a pound, then lock it down. Break the pickle. Tickle, tickle. All right. So, align and snap the covers and the brackets on both ends of the rod. 
they snap. And then snap and secure. Let's see, install provided shower rings and ver verify magnetic force. WTF, mate. All right. Okay, magnetic force. All right, so here we go. I'm going to do that. Set you up so you can watch me. Hopefully I'm, I'm getting you, getting this all on film here. A little tape, a little bit of tape, and a little bit of this, a little bit of that, and a little bit of this. It's all right. Oh, I gotta, I gotta cut it. Shit on a biscuit. Oh, it's got a little dotted line here. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, of course it's gonna do it like that. This should make it a spiral, because that's how you pull one. Oh, there's my pull strike on it. I'm an idiot. It's okay. Ah. We don't flush it down the toilet though. It's plastic. That'll kill all the fish. Alright, son of a bitch. Here you are. Alright, so now, what is this? This is the other one. I gotta get the plastic off all these things. What is this? Okay. So get the plastic off of that. And then, Bench isn't stable. Oh yeah, another another one of these one of these taped things here. Ah, all right. And there's my tensioner. All right. <clears throat> so what we do is we're gonna get it. So you gotta get it like <coughs> you gotta get it like right there, right? And uh, before we do that, we gotta get our we gotta make sure all the pieces are on there. You know, can't forget this one, otherwise it'll look like shit. So yeah, we got the got the little clicker Rooney in there. Now we gotta go and see how it fits. So, we'll come back over here. We we'll do our first one, and look at that. Look at that shit. It's, it's, it doesn't fit right. So, I'm gonna set you down here. Let me see what I do here. Oh yeah, I'm gonna do like this. I'm gonna turn it around. They want it in the front, and then we gotta do like this. Press this in. Get that in like that. And then, basically, what we do from there is when it's... Oh, man, almost. Okay, so this one, now we just... We just pop it out like that. We just spin this little... Spin this little doohickey. There. This little do, do decker right there. sure we are spinning it right and so basically there's enough tension on it now where I can I can make sure you can see see I, I had to I had to set that thing to where it like just barely was touching and then I had to come over here and uh, spin this with my, with my two hands and I want to make sure that my kids aren't gonna pull this off or me accidentally, so I'm just pressing into the wall. Pressing the wall, pressing the wall. And then look at that, I gotta lock the nut down. So what I do there, I got a little screwdriver, a little screwdriver action, clean up my tools as I go. You know, gonna bring this back out here where it properly goes on this kitchen bar area with my gloves and my, my safety goggles. You know, all of that shit. A little plant here. That's not getting any light. There you go. I don't care if it's not a glow, grow light. You don't know what you're talking about. You don't know what you're talking about. 
All right. I think this one ought to do the trick. Um, yeah, we'll try it. We'll try it. I wish I could use the uh, other thing, but I can't. I can't use the other thing. All right, so let's get a little let's get it fucking unblurry here. Maybe I can use my nose. Yeah, it's not gonna work. All right. Well, I'll go back, get a better um, screwdriver tip. Okay. Better screwdriver tip. Uh, maybe this one. That way I can be lazy. Yeah. A little, uh, little Black and Decker action here. Because I wanted it to be soft. Oh, look at that. It fits. Oh. oh, let's do it. Oh, don't want that to fall out. But I guess it has to, huh? So just make sure it's safely secured, everything you work on, right? I like, I like how my camera doesn't fucking work. Ugh, another thing. Safely secure. See how that's securely rolling around like that? That's how you know it's good. So, I think this is the thing that they want me to... This is the thing that they want me to push on, right? Let me read those instructions again. Maybe I'm really fucking this up. You fucking this up, dude. I am fucking it up. Hold on. There's the uh, useless fucking warranty. All these companies. Useless fucking companies. All right. Uh, P1. T1. Temporary. T for temp. T for temp job. No, it's push the plastic wheel off the nut and onto the thread. Oh, I'm, I'm screwing it up. <laughs> Look at this. All right, I gotta put you down for a second so I can I can redo this. You see, I uh, misread that. So there's a step you can just, you know, skip. You don't have to do any of that. All right. All they wanted me to do was remove the thing from the thing. doesn't go back in so that's all right it'll just be loose it'll be one of those things that falls out one day that's okay and now so uh, basically now right, let me get you turned back around basically what we're gonna do is we're gonna clip onto some shit here uh, just like that that's how it go you just I just pressed it here I'll try to keep my camera steady here with this one Stupid fuck. You gotta go, remember that. This is always an important thing uh, that you can catch with your shower curtain when you're like trying to get out of the shower. Oh, fuck. All right, I'll deal with you later. I'm gonna get a little help with that one. Oh, here it is. Yeah, that's right. It's gotta be angled the right way. So that just presses on. And now this thing's gotta go in here, you know? Of course, oh, you see, you gotta, you gotta take the tension, you gotta push a little bit and take the tension off of it and it slides, slides right in, you know? And now the tension's back on it. Look at that little ding-donger right there. Okay, and now, if it wasn't, if it wasn't incredibly horrible to have your arms over your head for that long, now you gotta hang the, the shower curtain rod, uh, or the shower curtain again. So, 
Put you down again because this is a fucking pain in the ass with one hand. Yep, and then it just goes on, just clink, clinkity clinks on. Clinkity clink, we're in the drink. And see, here, let me, uh, now that you're getting covered up by stuff. All right, let me show you mine, my little f snap fast models. Yeah, I just put them right on like that. Perfect. See, they work perfectly every time. They never mess up. Yeah, look, as you can tell. You can tell, look, see, never messes up at all. Always ready for action, spring loaded. Let's see, are these all connected? Yeah, look at that, look at that. And there it is, and now, I have much more room when I'm standing in there as a big tall guy, right? As a big guy. Look at me. Now I can now I can I can move my elbows and shit and not touch the thing. I don't put my back up against this slimy fucking shower curtain. And it's not gonna fall. That's the important part. I came in here the other night um, from working out in the wood shop and uh, this fucking thing was on the ground. Well, the old one was on the ground and the sink was clogged and the light was flickering. Yeah. So the light still flickers, but the sink is not clogged anymore. And uh, we'll get to the light next. That's always fun. These things up here, three wires probably. If there's more, you, uh, I usually just ignore them, you know, but uh, you know, don't take my word for it. I only stayed at a Holiday Inn Select last night.